Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Elise Reads and Speaks. Today's contestant for the bookish bracket tournament is Tedrick. Ted and I have been friends since 2006 when we went to Australia to study abroad together and met in the study abroad program. And I feel like our relationship has always been, you know, me giving him a hard time and him just taking it. So I hope that this tournament is no different. Ted, let's see what you got. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Ted. I have known Elise for about 14 years, uh, roughly ever since uh, we studied abroad together in, in Perth, Australia, uh, which probably even before that is kind of the last time I really read any um, sort of young adult books um, mm -hmm. with any sort of actual purpose. So I've read Harry Potter, I've read Hunger Games, a couple other ones similar to that. Uh, when I was a kid, I was really into like Animorphs. That was kind of the big one for me uh, that, that I read growing up. So, you know, obviously some of the themes are, are pretty cool. So I'm, I'm definitely interested in trying this tournament out. Um, to get started, let's see. So I will have the matchups. Um, the first one, first matchup is a girl must decide whether she wants to risk her life to become the summer queen. Okay. Or three sisters must kill one another to become queen. I have like five siblings, so that's that sounds more interesting to me. So yeah, like the one about uh, killing each other. <laughs> that sounds cool. Uh, the next matchup is a valuable dragon escapes from the community with her family and lives in secrecy. Okay, and then the other one is a, a girl is dragged to a magical kingdom for killing a fairy. That sounds much more right up my alley. Anything with murder, anything with, you know, some, some you know, a little bit of magical elements I, I like. So yeah, we'll go with the second one there. <laughs> fairy erotica. Our next anything. matchup is a girl volunteers to compete in a deadly game. I mean, that sounds like Hunger Games, which, which again is interesting. It is. Uh, and a girl switches from a peaceful community to a daring community. Sounds a little boring. The description's not quite so informative, so we'll, we'll skip that one. We'll go with the first one in there. Okay. Um, number seven and eight, that matchup is a girl unknowingly shares her love letters with past loves. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then the other one is a girl competes to be the favorite and discovers that beauty can be deadly. I kind of feel like the love letter one would probably be interesting. I've never really wrote love letters, but I, I can see that that would be interesting to, to, to see. Um, the nine ten matchup is a villain infiltrates a legion of heroes to wreak havoc, like that. A <laughs> subterfuge. Uh, and then uh, number ten is a girl with a mysterious past finds herself in the middle of an intergalactic battle. I do like space, so yeah, I think well, that's a tough one. I like villains though. If it comes, to, if it's like maybe the villains, the protagonist, I like that. That, okay. would, be, that would be cool. Okay. Let's try that one. We'll, we'll go with the, the first one on there. Uh, and then our next matchup is an elite. And the country's most wanted criminal joins forces to take down the corrupted government. Okay, that's pretty common, right? There's a lot of those. Yeah. Versus a girl attends a boarding school where she discovers her ability for witchcraft. It seems really close to Harry Potter, that second one. So I don't know if it's going to be good or if it's just kind of a knockoff. Um, no, I like the not. criminal one with the government. I like that they're kind not of similar, but okay. Okay. Somebody who has some talent that the government could, could work with. So let's go with the first one there. Our next matchup is a girl travels through parallel dimensions to find her father's killer. Uh, okay. Versus in a world that has been cured, it has cured to death and disease, two apprentices are taught the art of killing. Yep. Still more murder. These, you know, young adult, they like killing each other. I like that one. So we'll, we'll go with that, that second one. Uh, and then the last matchup for round one is two sisters escape to a magic carnival before one is married off. Okay, some carnies in that one. Uh, another <laughs> matchup for that is after deciding to end her life, a girl says goodbye to those who impacted her life. That sounds really sad. It I don't is. know if I want one like that. That sounds like one of those sad lifetime or It is. Movies. I think I'll skip that one. We'll go with the first one. Magic carnival, some carnies, maybe some space carnies or something. That no. Interesting, so. You're so wrong, uh, but I love yeah, carnival. I think, I think that's, that's a good matchup for, for round one. So, yeah, this was interesting. We'll, we'll see what I end up getting. Um, always need new books to read so yeah that, that'll be a good one so thank you for listening okay like i can see you picking a couple things that you like for yourself like i could see you liking renegades i could see you really liking scythe i always just i think everyone will like scythe i'm incredibly biased but like for example i freaking love akatar and you chose that one and i do not see you loving that one so i kind of hope you get that one let's see what else you got oh three dark crowns you pick three dark crowns i think you're my first one that has picked three dark crowns oh love that one I think you could like that one. Okay, so let's see. Three Dark Crowns, Akatar, Hunger Games. I'm kind of hoping if you've already read Hunger Games that you don't pick that one, but we'll see. 
to all the boys I've loved before, I think you will be my only man friend that picks that book. <laughs> uh, was matched up against the bells though, right? Yeah, okay, okay, I can see that. Renegades, Legend, Scythe, and Carval. All right, let's see what you got for round two. All right, here we go, Ted's round two. Okay, we are down to our Elite Eight. Um, our first matchup of the day. Uh, we have Elements, Poison, and Animals. Okay. Mate, Cursebreaker, and Spring. <sighs> See, I like Poison. Um, so yeah, let's go for the first one. With okay. Elements, Poison, and Animals. That sounds like a real, real pleasant one. Um, our second matchup is District, Arrow, and Tribute. And that sounds like Hunger Games, so I, I'm pretty sure I know which one that is. Yep. Uh, fake, Box, and Pining. So let's go with this, the latter because it will be potentially something new. Good, um, thank you. Number five is Powers, Nightmare, and Helmet. And the uh, number six is Military, Republic, and Play. Well, because we're kind of in a pandemic, uh, let's go with the, the latter, yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's All right. with some Plague, um, the Plague one right there. Uh, number seven and eight um, for the last matchup of, of the Elite Eight. Uh, Robe, Restart, and Glean. Legend, Roses, and Game. Now that one sounds like my jam. So yeah, we'll go the ladder on that one. Um, and we'll see what we get for the final four. And we'll go from there. Oh, you chose Caraval. Oh, I see, I love that one, but my book club, man, they get on me for that one all the time. But you chose Caraval. I could have sworn you were gonna choose the other one. And between the two, Scythe and Caraval, Knowing you, you'd probably like Scythe more, but you know what? I hope Caraval makes it to the end. All right, let's see what else you chose. You chose Three Dark Crowns. Oh, love that one. You chose To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Oh man, that's still in your choices. <laughs> Legend and Caraval. Okay, all right, let's see what you pick for round three. Just got Ted's round three. Let's see what you got. Uh, seeing as we had the big storm last night uh, here in Charlotte and lost power at my house, um, took all my groceries in the fridge over to the office uh, fridge here since we do have power. So I figured I'll do round uh, round three here. Uh, so we're down to the final four. <laughs> Let's just pause for a second. I love that you went to your office and thought, you know what? I have a YA bracket tournament to get to. <laughs> I appreciate the dedication. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> Uh, which makes me miss basketball even more. Um, so the matchups, the one versus two, which at least I think, I think you screwed up the matchups because it should be one versus four. You really want to make it an actual bracket. I'll let it go. Listen, I kept switching the numbers in chronological order so that you wouldn't pay attention to what was before and that you could just focus on one versus two, three versus four. All right? Don't come at me, man. Don't do that. Uh, Arsenault and Peter. Uh, Peter's a little bland. Arsenault sounds like a cooler name, kind of sci-fi, a little bit more what I'm interested in. So we're going to go with number one on that one. And then the last one is June versus Scarlet for the three and four matchup. Um, you know, I always like the name Scarlet. I'm hoping this isn't like, I don't have to read like Gone with the Wind or anything, because uh, that'll put me to sleep. So we're going to go with Scarlet. So we'll have the final matchup, uh, Arsenal against Scarlet, and then we'll see uh, what that final round looks like. Okay, this is three Dark Crowns versus Caraval. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Which one do I think you'll like more? I personally feel that you would like Three Dark Crowns. I think even without this, if I said, hey, Tedrick, I think you should read Three Dark Crowns because you'll like it. I actually think that you would. You'd pick it up, you'd read and be like, all right, that was pretty cool. So I'm kind of hoping you go for that one. How do I separate these two? Because they're both kind of like magical mystery. Maybe I'll say like witch magic versus, ooh, how, how would you describe carnival? Carnival magic? Witch, ver witch versus carnival? I don't know. I'll, I'll do something like that. That might have to be what I end up with. Witch magic versus carnival magic, okay? I guess it, it really depends. I hope you choose the witch magic. All right, let's see what you choose. 
okay, that was super quick turnaround. Like, I'm still wearing the same clothes and sitting in the same spot. Like, he sent it immediately back. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> like, he sent it back. I was like, you have one of my absolute favorites in your top two. I'm so excited. I don't know if you'll choose it, but we'll see. Not that I don't like the other one. It's just, if you know me at all, you know how much I love Three Dark Crowns. Like, I dressed up as Arsenoi for Halloween. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see what you choose. This is it. This is the championship. This is the finale. This is the recommendation I will get. Uh, I hope you don't judge me that I will get whatever book this is on my Kindle uh, so I can read it at my leisure. Uh, but yeah. So the final round uh, of, of my, my bracket. Um, I have Witch Magic versus carnival magic and i think at least you said uh you weren't going to put in any harry potter or anything so this is obviously something a little bit different mm -hmm. but that feels so familiar like do i really want to go with witch magic at this point when it's something i've already read you know several times over like is, is am i going to just be comparing it to harry potter so i'll be interested to hear what that one is because I, oh. I will be interested to see it um <laughs> i'm interested in that kind of stuff but carnival magic now that's some new because if we get some carnies that have you know some crazy powers and, and you know sort of stuff like that now um and there's the amazon series that had something like that or maybe it was the hbo series that was like carnival i don't know if that's more magic or if it's uh, more stuff like that so maybe that's the same thing about. haven't read it haven't seen it um so my champion my winner my selection is going to be carnival magic we're going to see how this goes um and i'll be happy to, to read this um because I just finished uh, my last book, so I'm, I'm ready to go. So yeah, uh, Carnival Magic is the winner. All right, you chose... Bing! Caraval. Wow, I did not see this going to the end for you. But you know what? As much as I love Three Dark Crowns, and I do, I do. I'd probably cry if you didn't like it. I really do enjoy Caraval, too. So the premise of this one is that these two sisters um, live with their, their dad, who is not the best dad, so they decide to escape for a while before one of them gets married off and go to this carnival called Caraval, and it's the special type of carnival. Okay, but of course something happens on the way over there. One of the sisters gets snatched away and the other one has to fiddle out, fiddle, has to figure out all these different riddles. That's where it went wrong, figure and riddle fiddle okay it has to figure out all these different riddles um to get to her sister to save her sister that might sound like kind of like eh, okay not the greatest but the magic in here like i love like there's so many different types of magic and the way that this author specifically writes i feel like paints very vivid pictures in my head like Anytime I think of Caraval, I have very, very bright colors. I can think of specific scenes that just, they're just shining in my mind. So I hope that her writing does the same thing for you. Oh, I hope you like this one. This one's fun. But you know what? Just promise me, if you don't like Caraval, at least give like Three Dark Crowns a try because I, I think you'd like that one too. Okay. So thank you very much for playing my game and thank the rest of you for tuning in to Elise Reason Speaks and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.